Tonight, shame game. Sport fights for its reputation as the Bombers' former pharmacist feels the pressure. He stands as a sacrificial lamb on the altar of sport. Deadly plunge. A community in mourning as a fiery plane crash claims two lives near Mildura. Their loss will be felt uh, far and wide. And Miranda Mayhem, the supermodel incites a fashion frenzy in the city. I am in all black. It's Melbourne. It's, it's Melbourne. So cool. I wanted to fit in with the Melbourne crowd. This is 10 News at 5 with Ben Lewis. Good evening and welcome to 10 News. First tonight, the crisis facing sport. Australia's sporting leaders are promising a new era of zero tolerance for cheats and corruption, jolted into action by the Crime Commission's damning revelations. The AFL will now vet all substances used by players and register any club consultants. Fremantle has revealed links to a convicted illegal importer and several betting agencies have suspended all wages on Essendon's round one match against the Crows. Tens Emory Sullivan begins our coverage. The cloud over sport spreads wider than Essendon, but the Bombers remain under the spotlight. The man at the centre of the storm is Stephen Dank, the club's former sports scientist. He's stayed silent so far, but today his lawyer said his client is a broken man. He stands, if I might use this phrase, as a sacrificial lamb. Foot and I'm in my robe. Chanel Valor, 10 News. Miranda, you know where to find me. Now here's Rob Waters looking ahead to Friday Night Sport. Ben, not content with four Melbourne Cups, Lloyd Williams has hired Lee Friedman to head up his racing empire. Friedman, who returned from uh, retired from training last year before returning in a part-time role in Sydney, will work daily at Team Williams Macedon Lodge. The 56-year-old has trained 124 Group 1 winners and five Melbourne Cups, including two won by Maccabi Diva. Also in sport, Black Caviar's little brother poised to return to the track a week before his big sister. The Aussies on track for a series clean sweep over the West Indies. Collingwood holds its final intra-club hit out ahead of the NAB Cup. But the Bombers just can't take a trick. Jake Melksham undergoes surgery after breaking his hand at training. All the details later in sport. Thanks, Rob. Coming up in 10 News, Taxing Times, Labor's mining shortfall delivers a budget blow and a bay rescue drama for a stricken windsurfer. This is 10 News and the Gillard government has finally bowed to political pressure, revealing just how much money it's taking in through the controversial mining tax. And as political editor Hugh Rimmington discovered, it's a long way short of budget forecasts. The mining tax has a long, painful history for Labor. Julia Gillard and Wayne Swan negotiated it after Kevin Rudd's earlier, stronger version stirred a mining protest so potent. Focus on Thompson's Road at Eastlink. More from the Car City Traffic Chopper after sport. Thanks, Emma. Coming up in 10 News, police under attack from one of their own in Los Angeles. Olympic meltdown, Russia's president not impressed with winter preparations. And a TV legend treading the boards in Australia for a new stage show. Welcome back. And two former priests have fronted a Melbourne court charged with decades-old sex offences. They're among the first people to be charged by a new police task force set up in response to the child sex abuse inquiry. Alicia Morrison was in court. A former priest, today it was Frank Klepp who sat patiently as a magistrate addressed the room. Ultimately released on oh, bail... You. More weather at 5.55 and we celebrate Chinese New Year at Crown. I'll see you then. Ben. Thanks, Mike. Coming up, shame game. Australia's sporting reputation takes a hit overseas. And safety fears ahead of Melbourne victories clash with Adelaide United. You're watching 10 News returning to the crisis in sport and one of the founders of the modern drug test says the world will be watching to see how Australia salvages its once clean reputation. 10's Emma Dallymore sat down with Dr Don Catlin. How much damage does this do to Australia's sense of being fair? It does a lot of damage. I feel very badly for, for uh, Australia because they've always been leaders it's sad, because they've really tried hard. You say that Australia has been... A tour a of Sydney, Melbourne yeah. and Adelaide. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, 10 News. 
Looks great now. Rob's back with Friday Night Sport. Ben, day one of the AFL's plot to rid the game of illegal drugs and we'll hear from all the major players. Another blow at Essendon with Jake Milksham undergoing surgery after breaking his hand at training. Black Caviar's little brother all set to add to his riches. And the cricket continues and things aren't getting any better for the West Indies. Good evening. The crackdown into drug abuse in the AFL is on, with league boss Andrew Dimitriou revealing Essendon isn't the only club in the gun. All 18 teams are on notice, with at least one president confirming he ordered a complete audit of his club two days ago. Under an Asada investigation for performance-enhancing drug use, Essendon is wearing the brunt of the public scorn. But the AFL has confirmed it's not the only club. We've been given information that relates to clubs, yes. Angry the game is being put through the ringer. Those caught cheating can expect to have the heights. So it's the gutsy girls who can share our play of the day. There you go, I'm not big on heights either, but don't you, like Mel, start bagging the play of the day. They'll get very upset. I was going to say iron men, iron women. They should have been able to run up there, I would have thought. <laughs> have a good weekend. Anyway, you too, mate. Thanks, Rob. Time to check the Powerball results now, and with no Division 1 winner, the prize pool jackpots. Division 2 returns $80,600. The rest of the prize is there on your screen. Time to check traffic again, so let's cross back to Emma in the chopper. Thanks a lot, Ben. It's really bad news on the Westgate Freeway in both directions. Got a broken down horse float here outbound. It's just after Montague Street, taking out the right-hand lane. Delays are starting city-bound on the Monash Freeway from Yarra Boulevard through the Burnley Tunnel and pretty patchy out to the Princess Freeway too around Corrick Creek Road. Monash Freeway outbound. Delays starting Yarra Boulevard most of the way out to the Princess Highway. Best to avoid that. Also hearing of a smash in Hampton Park on Ormond Road, not far from Hallam Road. Hope you have a great weekend. See you again on Monday. Not looking good, thanks, Emma. Mike's next after the break with the weather and SeaWorld's new attraction makes a splash. Welcome back. He's Queensland's biggest bundle of joy, a title Oliver Stock may not like when he's a grown-up. But for now, the Rockhampton bub is a little bit famous. His birth's set to go down in the record books. Born four days ago, weighing close to 15 pounds. Nice. Competition that scores a close encounter with the Dolphins. This weather report proudly brought to you by Mortine Nature Guard Automatic Odorless for continuous odorless protection. It's a beautiful evening outside in Melbourne at the moment. Mike Larkin is soaking up that sun. Yeah, thank you, Ben, and a very good evening. First up, it is Chinese New Year. We are down here at Crown. There's a great celebration this weekend. Of course, it is the Year of the Snake, but we have tonight some Chinese, not dragons, but Chinese lions. And celebrations, all these coming up degrees. And on a Friday, around 32 degrees. So that is the forecast down by the river. They call it River Walk, but everyone sort of has stopped to see the entertainment tonight. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. It is the Year of the as I said, the year of the snake, we might try some after this. Yeah, as it. Ben, see you on Monday. Sounds delicious. Thanks, Mike. That's it for 10 News this Friday night. Stay with us. The project at 6.30. Take care and good night.